As the sun came up over Hartford, the heat was on already. And the riverfront was a hot spot for early risers and exercisers looking to beat the soaring temperatures. Oh, if you're on the water, you don't really feel the heat at all. So it's, uh, it's a great way to exercise. You don't get the, the baking sensation you get from running or biking. Whether it was by paddle, by motor, or even by webbed feet, the water providing a refreshing retreat for anyone who wanted to be outdoors. But for those who have to be baking in the sunshine, like these construction workers in Hartford, if the hazy, hot, and humid conditions become too dangerous, they call it a day. Try to keep lighter clothes, I said, but everybody knows in this industry it's the nature of the business, you know. Summertime and wintertime, it's the dreaded six months. <laughs> Health officials issuing a heat advisory and air quality alert prompting cities like Hartford and New Haven to open cooling centers and for schools to close early. Pets, small kids, and the elderly are the most at risk during this springtime heat spell. Most of the time, just because they're uh, out in the heat, uh, the bodies can't tolerate the heat, they don't stay hydrated, uh, laying out in the direct sun or being out in the direct sun working and just uh, not taking enough fluids and resting enough.